Hi YouTube, Elite Legionarii here. I'm bringing you another Medieval 2 Total War battle. This one is a interesting one. It is three teams of two players on each team. So I'm playing with my ally, Kali Crusader, who is in command of Russia, and I'm in command of Poland. Um, we're reversing, uh, let's, uh, Burns, who's in command of um, the Holy Roman Empire. And his ally, Alistarius, is in command of Hungary. And these two are allied up here. Bobble, Bobble Bricoleur, 123321. So I'll just call him Bobble. And another player I played, a really nice guy and a good player, Lavernicus, who is in command of Spain. Um, so I'm going to come in for a charge and take up these cull, these basilisks, rather, which are the best uh, cannon units in the game. I have four units of Polish Guard Heavy Cav, four units of po dismounted Polish Knights, and two units of Lithuanian Archers. My ally, uh, Kali Crusader, has two units of Sars Guard, one unit of Dvor Cavalry, um, three units of Burdish Axemen, and four units of Cossack Musketeers. Uh, uh, his opponent, who I'm giving him an assistance against so we can do a quick kill and knockout on this guy, has three units of Lanschnecht Pikemen, a very cool Pike unit, two units of Dismounted Imperial Knights, he's got uh, two units of General's Bodyguards, he's got some um, Arcubisiers, or Arcubuses, I'm not sure how you say it, and he's got two units of Basilisk Artillery. Here I get careless and I leave my knights exposed to a charge by these Hussars. And as you can see, look what just look how much damage they just took. They went from they went from about um they went from 60 down to 15 in one charge. So that's why heavy cab are devastating. That's even the light cab unit that did that. Hussars are light cab. Very powerful light cab, but still. The charge by cab against knights is devastating. And I got careless because I took all my cab out and got kind of overzealous. Um, so so Alice Dara Darius, who was in command of Hungary, he deployed quite far away from his ally and it's cost um, his ally, the Holy Roman Empire player, because I've been able to assist my Russian ally who was doing really well anyway, um, coming in. So anyway, um, I'm going to outline these two guys' armies if I can. The French player's got three units of Scots Guards, uh, two units of dismounted um, feudal knights, two units of dismounted noble knights, and two units of knights hospitaller, and a unit of vulgar um, heavy infantry. Uh, Lavernicus has got a big variety of knights, Only half the knights enemy of Santiago, conquistadore, and um, he's got some some other stuff too. He's got some male knights in there too. So he's got all cab force. The rules were there were no rules other than um, 10 units maximum. So here we just... Our men are under attack. We must act now. So here I did some charges on... Um, <laughs> so here I did some charges on his um, puppy's crossbowmen. Here I'm going to get some more of them, which is good. I think they just crossbowmen actually. Here he charges my knights again, so I'm not doing the best here. Um, he doesn't get a maximum charge, but he still has a lot of damage because he got somewhat of a charge. So I am seeing that his knights, though, are exposed to a charge, and I am going to capitalize on that in a moment. Now, he's got allowed himself to stay bogged down in the fight against my knights, so you don't want to do that. You want to get the charge in and then get out, because that's how it works. Here he gets the charge by Lavernicus and um, Bobble, and that's really disrupted them because I thought he had me on the ropes there a bit. But I see that he's distracted with them, and I'm going to charge these knights, and you're going to watch. Goes from 60 down to, look, that charge down to 27, 25, look at that, right down. Abs absolutely devastating, these charges in this game. It's not like that on Rome at all. And I pull out immediately because you don't want to stay bogged down because in the knights. Half, the enemy force remains. Then the dismounted infantry start to overcome. So here I'm going to do another one. And I will take these units down too, hopefully. Yep, down from about 50 down to 40. I didn't get much of a charge then, he's going to respond. So I'm just looking for ways to knock out bits and pieces of armies. Um, my Russian ally should be able to deal with the remainder of these Holy Roman Empire player people. I have to get as many of these kills against the um, Holy Roman Empire player. Oh, hold on, Hungarian player, Alistarius. And um, I wasn't sure if this was scored or last man, so I acted like it was scored because it's usually what I do and I don't know. Um, 
See, these musketeers, I'm, I'm, what I'm telling you about musketeers is they need a flat trajectory or like that, and if there's any of your own units in the in, you know, in front, they can't shoot because they'll shoot your men. men are under attack. We must act now. Which is Lord why... be merciful. We have lost half of our men. Which is why I prefer to use um, normal archers so I can just shoot over. I think they're just more, more useful. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, um, Lavernicus and Bob are uh, devastating us because they sort of just kind of almost scavenge killed us. Wait until all of us were engaged and then just smashed um, us in the back. Please, like the coward he is, strike hard and break the spirit of his army. So my Polish guards get beaten down by these um, knights of Santiago. Very cool looking knights. And he's also bringing in all these other knights too. Um, and we're getting shot up by these Scots guards. By the Almighty Lord, or a military genius can bring us victory from this debacle. So my Russian allies certainly played a very good part in this. Um, we, we kind of got a bit unfortunate, I guess, in that... Um, I think we could have beaten um, the Hungarian player, but with these guys coming in, it was, it was just too much of a mess and there was too much stuff going on. So, as you can see, these large snapped pipemen are getting cleaned up by the Russian, my Russian ally, Carly Crusader, but Lavernicus is coming in with his protestadors and his Knights of Santiago, and he's just going to get overwhelming numbers in there. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Um... So I'm going to send in the remainder of my knights and uh, my dismounted um, infantry to um, try and do whatever damage I can, support my Russian ally the best I can. Um, but as you can see, it's looking pretty bleak for me and Carly. And the enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. He's really starting to annoy me. I like his accent, but he's annoying me. Um, Anyway, uh... Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from the... From fire to flame. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Yes, we get it. I'm losing. Don't remind me. So, unfortunately, Carly's guys are not are going to get beaten. And, um... See, the problem with being even being positioned here, he'd be hitting all his own men with these muskets. So, muskets... They're good, but at the same time, they take a lot longer to shoot. They've got massive range, which is good. But I find arts is just overall more useful. Global comrade at arms has been slain. Without their general, our allies, our army is tiring. So, yeah, I mean, I like muskets, but um, they're not really as good as these kind of, like, these Scots guard in my opinion are vastly better in my opinion. allies have fled the field. They are not fit to be called true men. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. God, this guy might as well commentate for me. Um, oh, shameful day. Our army is running from the field. We must rally our men before all is lost. I may actually eventually turn him off if he keeps that up. So, as you can see, Lavernicus and Bobble have the enemy claimed the field. Runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. With what? Sorry, guys. The guy's really irritating me. He's commentating more than I am. So, as you can see, this turns out to be a defeat. But... Me and my ally Kali got the most kills. You know, I got I got more like, more than a hundred kills than anyone else around me. So if this had been scored res, me and Kali would have won this, I think. Um, but it was just a last man standing. But I wasn't sure what it was at the time. So I had 521 men. I got 503 kills, and I had 18 men remaining, and I had 485 kills and 44 men captured. So over 500 altogether. Um, these guys had basically the same sort of sized armies but still got 200 and 300 range kills um, so let's have a look at the stats my Polish guard did really really good really good units um, I was a bit careless with my dismounted knights unfortunately they didn't do too bad but they could have done a lot better so all in all it's a good game to all you guys and I hope you fellas enjoyed it and I'll see you next